documentary honoring the life of New Hampshire journalist James Foley plays tonight at the Monadnock Film Festival in Keene. ISIS terrorists held James captive in Syria, then killed him in 2014. His childhood friend spent more than a year creating a documentary about his life. WMUR's Kriya Sakakini spoke to the filmmaker today in Keene. That's right. This was a work of love for filmmaker Brian Oakes. And tonight he received the Jonathan Daniels Award, meant to celebrate the intersection of arts and social awareness. The image of journalist James Foley at the hands of ISIS executioners gripped the world. Outrage over that image is what inspired his childhood friend to tell Jim's real story. To me, like, that was not Jim. And I didn't want him to be known throughout the world as, as that as that man. Brian Oakes grew up with James in Wolfboro. After his horrific death, Brian spent 14 months creating the documentary Jim, the story of James Foley, pouring over footage from overseas, interviewing his family, even the European hostages held captive with Jim. The former hostages really, really um, spoke very highly of Jim and, and how he kind of, in kind of the darkest moments, he really was able to keep everybody's spirits up. Heather McDonald worked as a writer for the film and was also a childhood friend of Jim's. She says they made a very clear decision not to show footage of Jim's execution. We ultimately decided, um, yes, that it's important to let folks know at the top of the film um, that this is not an image that they were going to be seeing in the film. Both Brian and Heather say the real story is about Jim's life, his work, his commitment to giving voice to the voiceless, the film portrays Jim as a journalist and as a humanitarian who cared deeply for people, especially victims of war. And his friends say creating the film allowed them to get to know Jim in a deeper way. I knew it would give me an opportunity to really spend time with Jim um, over the year, and that's really what happened. Being able to go back through photos and writing um, and see his work. James Foley's family was closely consulted during the creation of the film. In fact, his mother has been holding screenings throughout the East Coast to help raise money for the James Foley Legacy Foundation. Reporting live, Kriya Sakikini, WMUR News 9.